It's January, it's Kroningen, it's Eurosonic, and it's Boomer Meets Tech. A very exciting time today because we will be interviewing and meeting with some of the great new creators who are creating great, great tools for music, creativity, and entertainment for screen ages and teenagers and every ages. Dan Grasveld, good to see you again. And here Thanks we are in Groningen. Thanks for having me, Ralph. Yeah, yeah. So uh, today we've got, uh, we're going to be looking at a number of different companies and people that have uh, come up with uh, new platforms, new ways, new apps of developing something where technology meets a music need and music meets a technology need. So tell us about what you are involved with today. Thank you. Uh, it's definitely true. We are uh, working on a new music service yeah, called yeah. Popped. Uh, I actually wanted to take you through some slides. Yes, that's, that's okay. great. So um, we've noticed that uh, for a lot of people, yeah. uh, music has become too big. There's over 30 million songs in the library of music on the internet. Right. And there's a big bunch of people who have busy lives all day long, as you can see in the daily routine here. Right. And they listen to music all day long, but always while working on something else. Right. So what they need actually is instant music. They just want to press play and continue to focus on whatever they're working on. That fits into what they're doing in, in the context of that particular moment. Right. Could be work, could be uh, work out, right. could be dinner, whatever. Making love. Exactly, I'm glad you mentioned it. Right. I, I didn't want to say, but yeah, it right. could well be. Right. So, while they need instant music, right. this is pretty much what they're faced with. There's such a big offer of services and music. It's huge. So, that kind of causes a paradox of choice, right. where you want instant music, but you've got to spend a lot of time to uh, find what you, what you want. Right. So, it's either spending a lot of time to find music you love, or right. spend no time to find music you don't love. Right. So, we figured what if we could take that choice away. Good way of looking at it. So we wanted to make music really, really simple again. Basically like radio, but then 2016. Right. So that should be effortless, meaning press and play in one press click. And play. It should be remote because 80% of the time people listen to music happens through headphones. Right, correct. So off screen. Right. And it should be always available regardless of device, right. of internet So connection. these are the three key areas that make up for Popped. The, the practical areas, yeah, definitely. Practical areas. Yeah. So we started working on a product, and as you can see, there's four layers. The top two layers show that in the front, Popped is really simple for people to use. Right. It's uh, five basic moods, right. focus, relax, hits, feel good, and energy. So users only have to select a mood, and they can swipe the screen up and down to like and dislike songs, or right. skip right and left to the next uh, or previous song. But the layer under it is pretty smart. So right. we'll learn from users' feedback and adapt each of these feeds to an individual taste. Uh -huh. And then ultimately, there's a layer under it where you can connect with friends and peers and people around you and have their taste become an influence to your feeds as well. So effectively, this means that you will be able to, the algorithm sorts out what your tastes are, marries your tastes to the tastes of your friends, so that that also gives you the opportunity of setting up playlists drawn from these five areas that you've started. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Right. Uh, we won't do play playlists, we'll just stick to these five moods right. to keep it really, really simple. But yeah, that's, that's, I like that, marrying. It's basically marrying friends to uh, each other's taste. Exactly, so uh, the way that you enter into this particular app is where you've got focus, relax, feel good, and energy. Uh, how would you be able to see what kind of songs or material come up from each of those different buttons? It's an interesting question. We, uh, on purpose, didn't integrate that right. because we wanted to strip down everything that could potentially distract from a simple user uh, right. experience. I can show you a little screen demo. Right. So there's the login function to Spotify, right. which is required. Right. Uh, there's five basic moods, and then here you can see uh, how it works. So you tap the app, connect to Spotify, the five moods open. So I could select relax, for instance, and music starts playing right away. Drawn, I, drawn from the Spotify feed. Right, right, Good. through an algorithm, yeah. So I can swipe up to like, down to dislike, and right, right and left for next song. So, right. so it's an endless feed of music you don't have to think about. Right. And the system will keep track on what you like and dislike to adapt the feeds to it. So you can select energy to go for a run, for instance, or right. whenever you feel pumped up. Right. Um, 
feel good hit. It speaks for itself, basically. And how do you know what you're listening to in case you like it so much that you want to then download it, buy it for your personal collection? Well, my assumption is that the people we try to, to hit with this app don't really uh, download or buy music right, they anymore. They just want to listen to the streaming. They just want to listen, but right. we are keeping track on what they've liked and we'll give right. them the feedback on uh, what they can stick to. Right. Yeah. Very good. So, uh, how big is your team that has made this uh, particular app? We started uh, with uh, three people, mm -hmm. one for uh, back-end development, one for uh, curation and growth, mm -hmm. and myself. And we're currently looking to uh, get someone on a team who's specialized in data experience, because data is going to be a huge element for Key the... Key uh, element. Yeah. So, and uh, how did you come up with the name Popped? Interesting, yeah, we started, uh, it's basically music popping up all the time, and oh, then good. I started talking and brainstorming with people, and then right. we came with Popped. Right. And yeah, we liked it, so we no, stick to it. good, it seems to work in any language, and... Uh, I hope so. And uh, it's interesting because uh, when I think of the great songwriter Max Martin, his original collaborator was Dennis Pop. Oh, really? So it's got nothing to do with Dennis Pop, but Popped is a good title. It certainly would work pretty much anywhere in the world. That phrase works well. And so it, you are going to release this in uh, the Benelux initially? Well, we'll release it to uh, the App Store and Android, right. so Google Play Store, right. uh, probably in two months. We're currently what about on iOS with... and, uh, and the iTunes Store? Yeah, yeah for so iOS. Android yeah. and iOS, yeah. okay. Yeah, primarily. Uh, we're looking to integrate Sonos as well. That's a lot of feedback we Very get. Very important. Sonos is really growing. So I think we need about two months for that, and right. then uh, we'll try to grow from there. But for people who are interested, they can sign up at uh, www.popmusic.com. Leave Pop their email music address. with a C. Yeah, yeah. Popmusic.com. And if they're on Spotify Premium and iOS, right. uh, we can send them an invite to test the product as it currently is. Uh -huh. And uh, do you work with the Spotify people to give them feedback in terms of the kind of data that you will be developing with this so that it enhances your linkage with Spotify? We'd love to. It's a little early days. We right. only have uh, 130 people testing the app right now. Oh, but I'm sure we'd love to collaborate with them, so right. I'm sure we'll have a talk about that. So in your opinion, Don, what do you think is the two unique elements about this that you have not seen with other apps that you feel will give you some distinctive way of marking pop to something special? Uh, first of all, we, we noticed that the space for the proactive customer is really occupied with discovering and sharing and collecting that's and really all those good, services. Big clutter, that's right. But the passive segment is pretty empty, uh, basically left with radio, to be honest. Right. Which, uh, radio is great, but I think it's time for something additional as well. Right. And um, second of all, I think it's unique that there is an effortless service that requires one click, but still learns from your taste and becomes right. personal without needing anything yeah, to do that for is it. Really that sounds like a really distinctive, a one-click uh, approach that uh, sets you up and sets you up uh, with your friends and so forth. And I hope it does. Hope Fantastic. It does. Good. So, and the, the official launch of this is when? Well, we have an investor pitch next Tuesday, which uh -huh. is uh, super exciting. Right. So we hope to get the investment to continue for... How much are you looking to raise? Uh, it's kind of confidential. A million, 10 million, 100 million? What are you looking to, for? To start with, 100 million. No, no, just, I think uh, it's, it's a couple of hundred grand we're looking for. That's terrific. So that's, it would be achievable. And it certainly looks as though this has got uh, a very interesting approach. And uh, uh, those are the colors that you're showing on the screen. That's going to be, be the identity with the, the diagonal bands on the on the. Yeah, on it's kind of like the beta product. We'll get a professional designer to go over it right. once more. But for now... Uh, it's pretty clear, isn't it? It is very clear. Interesting idea. We've only got less than a minute. So in your perfect world, and you wanted people to notice popped, what would you say in just a few sentences? Why should people pop into popped? Nice, nice. Uh, I think for every moment that you feel like music, but don't feel like exploring what you feel like, right. there's popped. One click, music not to think about it, super easy. So you don't even have to worry about Hilversum or Veronica, you just go into pop. Not at all, yeah. Very interesting. Dan, come on Stan, <laughs> and let's make this work. Good to hear about Popped, brought to you here at Eurosonic and with Boomer, bringing you the best in music meets tech. Thanks, Ralph.